Hi guys, it's Nick. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today because I am going to be talking about my favorite products from Amazon.com. Now I'm going to be honest, I have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with Amazon. I find them a little bit of a mixed bag. Now hear me out. So I love Amazon because it's convenient. They got the prime one day shipping. Like it's an amazing place to buy furniture and decor. However, sometimes it's like, oh sure, this will arrive tomorrow. And sometimes it's like, hey, this is being shipped in from God knows where and it's going to arrive in like four months. Uh, good luck to you. So what I've done today is I've gone to Amazon and I've checked out some really amazing products that I wanted to share with you to sort of like kind of filter out all that noise of all like the random products on Amazon and just give you some really great options that I think are worth your time. So I've linked all the products uh, down below to amazon.com. So with all that out of the way, let's get to the products. First product I want to talk about is the Rivet Bigelow Modern Couch. Um, I really love this couch. It's available in this gorgeous leather sort of cognac color. Rivet, by the way, is one of those Amazon house brands. It tends to favor sort of the mid-century modern or sort of an industrial look um, and I love 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 a lot of the products that are on there so I'm not gonna lie they appear on this list a lot but this particular couch I just really love the thick wide arms um, I just think it's really chunky it's got this really beautiful brown leather it's a solid wood base with a brown leather um, I think it's really gorgeous it's kind of a little bit industrial it's kind of a little bit mid-century um, it's a quite masculine I just I really love leather couches that warm rich brown leather just feels really comfortable it feels really homey and by the way it's like a new type of material that you can layer into your design which is why leather I think is always gorgeous in a home. Speaking of new uh, fabrics and new materials to bring into the home that you don't always see all the time um, I really love this uh, rivet Alonzo contemporary couch so unlike the uh, other couch which had really thick arms this one has really beautiful thin arms which just makes it feel really contemporary um, it comes in a whole bunch of different colors but my personal favorite is this blue velvet. So velvet is just so plush and so comfortable. I just think it's really lush and just really uh, just I just love velvet. I just love the look and the feel of it. I think it's just a new material that you can layer into your design um, and it's just really gorgeous. And I do see you guys in the comments talking about like where's all the color? Why is everything all about neutrals all of a sudden? I hear you. I get it. And so if you want a really gorgeous pop of color this blue velvet couch might be a great option. So next up a beautiful chair is this stone and beam swivel chair. Chair. It is in this gorgeous brown leather. Stone and Beam, by the way, is another one of Amazon's house brands, so I believe this is exclusive to Amazon. Um, I just really love this, like, beautiful brown leather. Um, it just looks really rich and warm. It's just sort of a really nice industrial take on an office. I think it's really masculine. Sometimes office chairs are, like, ugly, let's be honest. But this one is not ugly and actually really gorgeous, but also looks really comfortable. I feel like that's the thing with office chairs, right? They're usually in two camps, right? They're usually uh, really incredibly hidden but really comfortable and designed to have you sit for eight hours or they're not designed for like back support for eight hours but um, they're also really chic and gorgeous so this chair looks really plush and comfortable but it's also a beautiful chair it's got this really gorgeous brown leather um, again me and the brown leather uh, but I just think this one looks really cool and again like a really masculine sort of industrial office space I think this would look gorgeous but also a mid-century modern space um, with this brown leather you can really make it work in a bunch of different ways so definitely worth a check next up is these this round Hill uh, contemporary side chair. This is not one of Amazon's brands, but I just thought this was really cool and it's got really great reviews. So it's got this really beautiful um, sort of vertical lines in the back of the chair. So it's kind of got this little tufted sort of pillow feel to it. Uh, it just looks really cool. A really nice statement. It's got these really gorgeous little peg legs on there, which are just super cute. So definitely a great option. Of course, it leans on the mid-century. You know, I love the mid-century. Um, I just think it's really clean, but it's still got this little bit of detail, which makes it really interesting. So I think this is a good one too. This next one here is the ribbon mid-century dining chair so again that brand rivet um, again this is really nice and like a beautiful mid-century look but they've also got this blue velvet which I'm really really interested in because I think it just looks really sophisticated and really cool velvet just feels luxe to me it just again it's different I know we all love these sort of natural fabrics that you can get in a dining chair which are also gorgeous but you know if you're gonna have fun with color you're gonna have fun with texture I think a blue velvet dining chair is just a really beautiful way to sort of elevate your space make it really cool it's just really unexpected and just really plush and really interesting and I just think this would be really really gorgeous and like an elegant dining room okay next up is the Ravina Lamberton dining chair this is for all you transitional or traditional folks that are 
not necessarily just obsessed with mid-century modern or Scandinavian like I am, and you're really looking for that more traditional look. I think this chair is really elegant. It's available both with nail heads or without nail heads. So if you're looking for something like really clean and elegant, then I think going with the no nail heads is a really great option. But if you want a little bit more detail, uh, you have that option for you. It comes in a few different colors. Again, it's got this blue. It's also got kind of this creamy gray. Um, and Ravina, by the way, is another one of those Amazon house brands. Next up is the Rivet um, nesting tables. They come in this gorgeous like brass and like a medium tone brown. So I'm really actually quite personally obsessed with like brown and like brushed gold or brass. I just really love the idea of like brass and gold just typically just makes things look really shiny. It looks a little sparkle, kind of gives it a little bit of shine. Um, but brown and brass together, I just think looks really sophisticated, but it looks really warm. It's not, I am tend to favor things personally that are a little bit warm, a little bit more inviting. I tend not to be as much into the sort of cool colors. Um, and I just think this combination looks really great. So this nesting table is right up there for me. It's got these beautiful sort of brass legs and this uh, brown wooden top. I just think it looks really, really cool. And I also love nesting tables because, and I have them in my own home. And it's because when company comes over, uh, you know, back when we used to have company over, uh, you could like pull out your nesting tables and you can bring them out and sort of um, adapt them to the needs of, you know, however many people you have. So if you aren't looking for nesting tables, I really also t want you to take a look at this stone and beam rider industrial side table. So this is another gorgeous option. And again, I'm talking about brown and gold because I love it. And I think this combination works really, really well too. So it's really beautiful, really elegant. Again, you've got that little bit of warmth, but you've got the natural coming through in the wood. Um, and it's a little bit industrial, but it could also work in mid-century. And I just, I think it's a really, really gorgeous side table. If I had a home for it, I think I would make it work, but I've just got too many end tables already, so I can't. Also, I really love that this is an industrial look, but it's not cold. Because sometimes I find, like, I love industrial. I think it can look really cool, but sometimes if you're going for that, like, industrial factory look, it can look a little bit cold and a little bit uninviting, but you add a little bit of brass and you're still getting that industrial feel, but it's such a warm metal that it's really gonna just warm up your space. And even though it's industrial looking, and even though it's quite masculine, it's still gonna make the place look really warm and inviting. Okay, so now let's talk about lighting and let's talk about this stone and beam rattan lamp, which I think is really cool. And if you actually sort of zoom in on some of this detail, you've got this really beautiful rattan, but it's not like solid. It's still quite uh, see-through. So it kind of gives it a little bit of an airy feel. Uh, it's just a really, really cool little side table lamp. And again, if you saw my Ikea video where I gave you my top 10 sort of affordable, uh, but kind of look expensive Ikea products, then you'll know that I'm a really big fan of rattan because I think it's like a really cost effective option but it looks elegant it looks warm and it's just a really beautiful neutral and I think this lamp is really really cool and would work with all those things by the way that I talked about in the Ikea video so definitely check this one out too next up let's talk about the rivet floor lamp so in this video I'm not talking about that uh, couch I'm talking about the floor lamp here and how cool is this so it's a little bit mid-century it's a little bit industrial I feel like that's a trend by the way because I just love all the rivet stuff uh, that they have here on Amazon uh, but I love these sort of three little spotlights so you can sort of point the light in different directions which by the way is a really, really great way to sort of uh, light your space, but sort of make it adapt to sort of your needs at the time. So if you're reading a book, you can sort of twist the lampshades, uh, but you can also sort of uh, play with it a little bit so that you're getting multiple light sources in your space, which is awesome. Okay, here's the Bright Tech Jacob lamp, which is kind of similar to the last one, except you've got these really beautiful round sort of softer shades and they come in this gorgeous brass. Um, this is not an Amazon exclusive, I think. This is some other brand, but has really, really great reviews. So it's just got a really bit more of a softer feel. It's got a little bit more of a curve to the shade rather than the really sharp edges in the previous lamp. Um, so again, it's going to feel like maybe it could work in like more of a contemporary space as well as something mid-century. But even in transitional, I just think this is like, it's really simple. There's not a lot of different colors, not a lot of contrast. And again, you've just got this really beautiful three-shaded lamp, which I think is really cool. Okay, next up is this Rivet Mid-Century Pendant. Um, I love this pendant. I think that it's got these really beautiful like polka dot sort of holes into it, which is just when it's lit up, this is the thing with lighting, like when you've got really gorgeous pendants, when it's lit up, you're just gonna get these lights that are gonna be shining from different directions. There's gonna be such a focal point and such a statement in your room. Um, I just think it's really cool and very mid-century and just is like a really beautiful pendant lamp. Uh, you know me, I love pendants. I just feel like there's so many gorgeous, pen I, have, I have more pendant ideas than I have space for pendants. You know what I mean? Speaking of pendants, we've got these really bold, big uh, rattan chandelier from Stone and Beam. Uh, this is quite similar 
to the ones that I talked about before in Ikea, but if you didn't like some of those options, this is a really great one too. Uh, really beautiful and warm. A rattan just gives a warmth to a space. It's just a really gorgeous neutral. This could work in Scandinavian. This could work in farmhouse. This could work in boho. I just think this is like a really gorgeous rattan lamp. Speaking of a gorgeous focal point, this stone and beam uh, beaded chandelier is beautiful. And again, this isn't normally my style, but that's okay because this would look amazing in a modern farmhouse. I wouldn't say rustic farmhouse. You're going to want to see something a little bit more distressed. This is a little bit more modern. So this light fixture is kind of a great divide between the rustic and the modern farmhouse people. Uh, but this would look amazing in coastal. This would look amazing in transitional. It's a really big, gorgeous chandelier with these really luxe beads. Um, I think this is a really great option just as a real centerpiece over a dining room table. So the, again, this is a nice alternative to some of the metal chandeliers that of course you know that I love. But this one has just got these really gorgeous all natural sort of beads. And it's just a little bit more understated than some of the kind of really big bold chandeliers, uh, which I normally love. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit more serene, I just keep thinking coastal. I keep thinking coastal and modern farmhouse with this chandelier. So if that's you, definitely check this out. Okay, this rivet mid-century wall sconce. It comes in brass, it comes in matte black, um, which those are kind of the two trendiest sort of metals right now. Um, and these, I just love a wall sconce. So they've got these really beautiful uh, sort of glass shades to them. Uh, would look gorgeous in a bathroom. Like if you really want to create like a grand sort of master bathroom against a uh, really gorgeous mirror, which I'll talk about in a second, um, as well as in a bedroom, like on either side of the bed for like a wall sconce lamp, uh, rather than have two table lamps, which can kind of take up space on your nightstand. Um, having a beautiful wall sconce I think is a great way to go. Next up is the Rivet Modern Curved Glass with a Wooden Shelf Mirror, whatever that name is. Um, this mirror is gorgeous. I think it's so cool. I love the shape of it. It's kind of got sort of a Moroccan feel to it to me. Um, if you're from Morocco and you're like, that's not Moroccan, then, you know, where there you go. But I think it's just got this really warm, gorgeous brown shelf, which has just got this really kind of distressed wood. It's a little bit industrial. Um, this is, you industrial folks are really kind of doing well in this video. So I really love the detail of this uh, wooden shelf. I think it looks a little bit distressed. It looks a bit reclaimed, although I'm sure this wood is not reclaimed, but uh, it's just got a little bit of some distressing going on there, which just kind of gives it some character. And I love the function of the shelf because you can put some decor items on there or you can put it in an entryway. So it's a place to maybe put your keys when you walk in. Um, so it's kind of that little bit functional. Uh, it's a really beautiful mirror. Um, this rivet line, by the way, like it's really gorgeous. Like there's a lot of really cool things in this line. Next up, we have the stone and beam rustic mirror. Uh, this has kind of got this really beautiful distressed sort of wood around the edge, but it's kind of got different sort of colors of wood. So it really kind of gives it some dimension. Um, I really love this mirror. I think it looks just that little bit distressed. So this could really work kind of in a rustic farmhouse or maybe even a modern farmhouse uh, to have some kind of rustic elements in it. Uh, it would look really well for coastal. Well, it could be actually a little bit dark for coastal, but I think it would work really well for industrial. Um, so stone and beam, I think this is a really cool mirror and another really great option. So this next one, it's kind of like a category of mirrors. Uh, it's Hamilton Hills, which I think is a brand of mirrors that has been making mirrors for a very long time. And they have all sorts of different mirrors that are available on Amazon. So they've got round, they've got rectangle, they've got squares. And these are really great for kind of a really contemporary clean look. Uh, these mirrors don't have a whole lot of detail, but they come in brass, they come in black, and they're great for bathroom, it's just anywhere you need a mirror. Like I have a beautiful gold mirror uh, that's round right in my guest bathroom that I really love. It's just like a really simple, beautiful mirror um, that just kind of like, you know, has the beautiful metal detailing around the edge, but it's nothing too busy. So this really works for a contemporary space or even a minimalist. Um, and I just think these are really great quality mirrors. They seem to have really amazing reviews on Amazon, so definitely worth checking out. Okay, so let's get into some decor items. And let's start with this rivet uh, throw. This is a hand woven uh, throw in this, it comes in a whole bunch of different colors, but I put in this one of this really gorgeous mustard because it's just got this really bit of a mustard yellow detailing. It seems to be a lot of what Rivet's doing on their website. So I thought this one was really gorgeous. It comes in a whole bunch of different colors though that you should check out of different combinations, but I really like this mustard one because I just thought, again, you've got that really like warm gold brass sort of look. I just think it would work with all the other brass and gold elements that we're talking about 
today. Next up is this La Jolie, um, I'm not gonna do it in French, uh, basket, which is really cool. And you can put like in a kid's room, uh, you could put in farmhouse, and it's just got this really sort of beautiful white woven uh, look. So you could throw throws in there, you could put kids toys in there. I just love baskets because I just think uh, they really warm up a space, they really give it a different texture, and they're just a great storage solution for um, any sort of items that you have lying around that you don't necessarily just wanna like sling on the floor, you don't wanna find a cupboard for, and you just put it in there and uh, you're good to go. So this is a really gorgeous basket. Again, it comes in a whole bunch of different colors as well. So I hope you enjoyed my list of my top favorite items from Amazon. I tried to simplify the process to make it a little bit easier for you to shop and find some really great decor on Amazon. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably also really like my favorite Ikea products that are affordable, but look a lot more expensive. And I'm going to link that video here and I will see you all in the next video. So thanks a lot. Bye.